It is time for our video game news. In this segment, we share the best headlines in the week in the gaming industry. And as we have talked about in the past, uh, there's been predictions and rumors that a second Switch may be in development, possibly a Nintendo Switch uh, Switch. Lite or smaller version, and then a XL version, potentially. And as predicted and as noted, there is officially now a Nintendo Switch Lite coming to stores near you September 20th. So the Nintendo right, Switch right, right. Lite is a smaller version of the Switch that is $199.99. And this is one where the controllers do not detach. It's a smaller screen. It's 5.5 inches. It is approximately 0.61 pounds lighter. It comes in three colors, yellow, gray, and turquoise. And it has a longer battery life ranging from three to seven hours of play as opposed to just three. <laughs> three to seven. That's a big difference. That there. is a huge difference, <laughs> yes. But hey, that's that's good, I guess. And uh, it's obviously going to support all the games to support handheld mode because there's no way to dock this to a dock. Um, it does take away the HD rumble and the IR camera that comes with the Joy-Cons because you can't take the Joy-Cons off. And they opted to replace the uh, four individual D-pads for a single like traditional D-pad, which some people are super hyped about. Um, and That's it good. also That's supports good. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and near-field communication. Wow. Which the switch doesn't do <laughs> yeah right, right. it's crazy yeah. so uh yeah that's the new switch um i think actually i think it's actually a good thing you know oh i do too uh, yeah. obviously we don't are gonna get it but i think wait i'm, I'm gonna get it you're gonna get the this one no i'm just kidding <laughs> i was like what i mean i like to on, in a way just because I, I like i think it's a good looking console i mean they have three but colors you have switch so gray, it's like yeah gray, blue and green or is it yellow uh yellow blue and, and green gray 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 yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I think for a lot of people, especially those who just want, you know, like had the 3DS, I think it's perfect. I mean, yeah. you're not, you don't, you don't need to dock it. it. Takes out all the fluff that may or may not be utilized to its full potential anyway. Um, and I mean, better battery life, potentially a better CPU too. So, well, we'll not get, better we'll CPU, but um, that's that's just on the other console. The the uh, Switch Lite is. I got completely you. Just straight up. Com- the Switch Lite is a weaker version of the right, Switch. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, but the battery life is better. So That's they good. did increase the battery life. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, the Switch Lite's interesting. It's um I mean, honestly, if I didn't take the Switch to our events, I probably dock my Switch 10% of my time I use it. Right. I I rarely <laughs> yeah. ever actually stick it on the dock. Um like that, and then when I'm playing Jackbox with friends, I'll dock it. Right. But other than that, like I largely use it as a handheld console. Um, so in a way, this would be awesome to have. I love the colors. Like I think the colors are solid. Like I would, I would like to have that blue one. I mean, the blue one's pretty so- pretty pretty sweet looking. Um, but yeah, I I hope that they. So the other report that we have is Nintendo Nintendo has silently upgraded the um, original Switch, potentially. <laughs> so potentially. what has come out is that there was a uh, FT, F, FCC filing that is re- essentially requesting permission to alter an existing device, in this case, the original Switch. So they put in a report to make changes to it, um, such as changing the, uh, the system-on-chip device, the memory type, and the CPU board. So it looks like they're looking to upgrade it. Um, with a new chip ultimately and just give it some more performance and enha- enhancements. So there was an update made. This is an article I found on IGN and there was an update to it that said a uh, hacker and data miner, Mike Heskin posted a Twitter thread detailing what they know about the upcoming revision to the switch. Um, and in the thread, he reported that the revised T214 units, which is the upcoming revised switch and not the switch light features four gigabytes or six, eight gigabytes of LP DDR4 RAM with plans support for 10 nanometer chips. This should translate to a small battery longevity boost and potentially a modest performance boost. Thanks to the new GPU. 
So whether this is going to be an update to the Switch that's already on the stores, like already on sale, and they're just going to like have a new iteration of it that you can purchase that is just a little bit better, or if it's going to be a separate Switch entirely is not to be determined yet. Right. But it sounds like they might just be updating what's already on the, like it's going to be the same SKU right. just with V2 instead of V1. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, that's good. I think that's good, even though they're not having another one come out yet. Yeah. But. I feel like it'll come out for the fall. Like I, I know technically this new one's coming out in fall, but I feel like they're going to release a new one, like maybe around Black Friday or near Christmas time. So it's already been confirmed that it's not. Damn it. There was a story that came out about that that said Dang. there is no other, like this is the only new hardware they're releasing this year. So Dang. unfortunately not. That but sucks. I wish. I, I mean, wish. I think it'd be a great time. Yeah. People who don't have a Switch and still want like the best experience. Like, yeah. I mean, it makes sense why they don't want to have the mid-range one. Because, like, normal Switch will be the mid-range, right? And it's like... Yeah. Something has to be their flagship. So maybe, yeah, I guess they're going to wait. Yeah. Yeah, I I kind of... But, mean, I mean, I can't see Nintendo not releasing, you know, a Switch XL or whatever because they're weird like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess if we really think about it, there's no reason to have that because they always they usually only have two, right? Like they yes. have a 3ds and a 3ds XL. I bet you what they're gonna do is just make another switch that's just here's the newer. This is like the the Switch Pro or something like that, okay. and it's gonna be like they're gonna have the Switch Pro the, and the Switch Lite, or maybe they'll just have like this is the new Switch and label it the new Switch, like they did the new 3DS. Yeah, right. Um, right. And just have it be, this is the enhanced, more preferred version that you want to get. Right. Um, so I can see that out, being Outdate thing. the Switch we have now, is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Essentially. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. I think. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think people want that. Do we need it? I guess not. Oh, I, I need it. Yeah, some of these games... Like, well, I mean, I, like, overall, the audience, like, they're player base do they actually need it yeah we need it we want it for sure yeah but i mean who are the people playing the switch obviously it's a huge range of people like, right demographic wise i think we're starting to see the the for like the the problems that the switch does have like it should be able to handle a little bit more 3d fidelity and it doesn't right like um what was the game that just recently came out that's just like completely not working on the switch and everybody wants to play it on the Switch, but they can't because it just doesn't work. Um, what? Really? Yeah. I'm trying How's to they, how to get past testers and stuff? Uh, you had to have tested the game. Out. I know. That's what I thought. But yeah, like, that's like um, playing Zarvi, it's a little slower on the Switch. Yes, uh, playing Overcooked 2, it takes forever to load that damn game. Like it sits there and spins for a very long time. Right. Um, when I had was playing Ape Out, that game, like that's a very simple, simplistic graphical game, but the loading is horrendous to get into it initially so if you leave it in sleep mode and just like don't exit out of the application it loads up just fine um but otherwise it takes forever to load um i was noticing some hiccups with um she what was that game i was playing the other day that was having some problems um several games i've, I've had that are you're starting to see where the limitations lie in the console right. with the graphics and the right. Just the speed of things, so right. um, yeah, kind of I, bummed about that. I mean, it would make sense for them to come out with a better screen, like just yeah, just outdate the one we have now. I yeah. mean, it's good. It was good for launch, and it's been really good. And it's still good. It's just yeah, it definitely could use a refresh. And I mean, this is a step again because of tariffs and stuff uh, from that side of the sea. It kind of hurts us a little bit. I also saw that they're actually moving switch production some switch production out of uh, China. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I was like, well, that's positive for us. <laughs> I don't know how positive it is for actual Nintendo. So um, there's a lot that could change pretty soon. Well, there's a lot that has changed. I think things, whatever the plan was, possibly got put on the back burner due to these tariff things. So It was um, a bloodstained ritual of the night. Ah, really? Yeah, so that's wow. like, you know, it's a... 
it's not a heavily i mean it's a side scrolling like right. castlevania style game yeah and apparently it's it's like literally unplayable on the switch wow um so they released it and they're working on patching and fixing it which i think it should be fixed at this point but before like when i was listening to some people talking about their pre-review of it before the game actually was released they're like it, it just doesn't work like it's it's slow, choppy, laggy, and sometimes it just That's it really, fell really apart. Bad. Yeah, so like there's there's definitely some like holdbacks on it, which sucks. I guess but, well, you know how yeah. we said um, 720p really isn't a big deal on on the Switch, right? Yeah. What kind of sucks because if you think about it, everyone's sh- you know obviously pe- a lot of people are are making games now shoot for 4K, right? Yeah. And then I guess they just down res from there. But I don't know how hard it is to down res or how to, how you have to formulate things to make it easy yeah. to scale your graphics. But it's like I think for the most part, people have 1080 in there, right? Like that's just a standard that people have. Yeah. Um, obviously, they can go down to 720, and I guess it's pretty easy because I think a lot of games go to 720 if you need it. Especially, on, well, I'm thinking PC because you have all those different resolutions. Um, but you think Nintendo would try to just go 1080 because that's like standard, standard. You know what I mean? Like 720p isn't really a standard anymore. It's there, but it's like it's got to yeah. be easier to go 1080 across the board than. Well, not for 720. The portability, like I think they had to cut down the resolution in order for it to be as slim and portable as it is. Right, right. I don't think they were able to like engineer a solution in the time that they had to to make it work that way. Because I mean, this thing already slogs that was 720. Yeah. I can't imagine that the port- portable part of it was 1080 how hot it would get and how that would decrease the battery life and stuff like that. Right. So I think they have some engineering problems they have to solve first to, right. before they can pump that up. Well, they might be able to do it now, hopefully. I hope so, yeah. Um, I mean, at least they got the battery life up a little bit. But I, I think this console looks really solid. I think there's going to be definitely people going out there to buy it, yeah. like kids and yeah. stuff like that. Like They don't really need to dock it that much. They just want a portable device. Mm-hmm. And now they can pick up a Switch like this for $100 less and be able to do what I typically do with mine. Um, and carry it around and stuff like that. And I think that's great. So, 